Hello, hope all is well. So in this video, uh, we are going to look at the Roman numeral converter and this is an easy one, uh, part of the frequent camp projects. So on the screen I have uh, the common Roman numerals and uh, if you look at them, uh, you will notice something that uh, from 1 to 3, uh, we have, uh, it is represented, 1 is represented by an i that we keep on multiplying to get the other. So if it is true, uh, 2, I have 2 Roman numerals and then for three, I have three Roman numerals. Uh, that's the same even if we go to the tens, to the hundreds, and to millions even, or thousands. So the different uh, part that we shall look at is the four and nine. So the four and nine act uh, weirdly, and we shall look at that uh, a little bit, but you get to see what it does. So if I have four, four is, I represent it by the one, and then by the five. That would indicate five minus one. So even if you see it in the 400, I represent it by the D, uh, by the C, that's 100, and then D, 500, represents uh, the 500 minus 100. Uh, but we shall look at that a little bit later. And then from 6 to 8, they build on top of 5. When I have 5 as V, my 6 would be VI to represent the 6. So let's go ahead and uh, do this. Uh, so I created this uh, function that's uh, convert to Roman numeral which takes in a number and right now on the screen I have the lookup object and uh, the lookup object have defined uh, the weird cases, uh, the common cases and weird cases of a Roman numeral. So we know that uh, from 1 to 3 they are built on top of uh, the 1 and then from uh, 4, 4 is weird that's why we have it here. So to get 4 I subtract uh, uh, the 1 minus 5 and that's why you have it there. And then we have 5, which builds uh, 6, 7, and 8. Then the weird case of 9, and we have uh, a case of 10. Uh, so this is uh, the same as 1. We keep building on that to get 20 and 30. So I also uh, have a variable here, Roman, uh, which we will keep on uh, adding on in order to get uh, to get the Roman numeral. So, so we already defined our lookup and uh, the Roman uh, object uh, string in this case as an empty string. So I'd have a for loop that would go through our uh, object properties. So for i in the lookup, then the while loop to check if our number is greater than or equal to uh, the lookup uh, at i or the number at i. So when we get this, uh, we get the Roman and increment it by the lookup, uh, increment it by i. So that's in case it is a 1, we implement it by this uh, Roman numeral i. And then reduce the number minus 1. Not minus 1, minus the lookup. So if I'm to call this function out, uh, we shall have uh, maybe log it into the console to be able to see the result. So it's convert to Roman and then pass in our simple number three. There you get it. We get the three i's. Maybe you convert it to uh, a bigger number that's in thousands. Then we get this. So it's the same concept. Looking through the one thousand uh, three times. And then our number becomes uh, 675. Then it goes, uh, we had a 600 lie that's above uh, uh, 500, gets the D, and continues the same algorithm that we made. So thank you for watching, and see you next time.